And it all comes down to this. The final event of the Flat Chat Olympics. Who will take the win? Ireland. Australia. Spain. Or Poland. These four warriors have battled it out across four events. And it all comes down to this. They can all take the trophy, but who will be victorious? Let's find out. Hello and welcome back to the Flat Chat. And this is our fifth and final event of the Flat Chat Olympics. We have Ireland, Poland, Spain and Australia competing for the first inaugural, <laughs> inaugural. Flat Chat Championship. Today... Are you ready for it? Today we have viewers in and we're going to have a general knowledge football quiz, obviously, yep. to see and crown the winner. Before we get into that, we have our table, our top two currently as it stands. We have Cal and Heggy representing Australia and representing Spain. You yep. have to think there. Obviously, I love Spain. And joint third, joint second, we have me and Aaron, Poland and Ireland. But still in with a chance. Still joint, in with a chance. Joint four. Ah, uh, you're joint fourth. So no, you are, don't say. We are joint. We are joint first, and you're joint fourth. No. Yeah, there's four people. That's we're joint third actually. So uh, yeah. What's the light goal? Light goal for today, for the fifth and final episode, we want three hundred and seventy-five likes. Ooh, okay. Yeah, okay. three hundred and seventy-five likes. Comment any ideas you have. This was an idea sent us, and we've done it. Subscribe if you haven't done so already, and let's get right into it. So we have the first viewer on. We have Andy. How are you doing, mate? Hi, brilliant. Glad to be here. On. Hi. It buzzing. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, he's got a hoodie on. Go check out the link in the bio. So, five questions. Let's get straight into it. What is question number one? Right. Question number one. England have reached two or more World Cup finals, and it's true or false. Two or more World Cup finals. The game itself. Yeah. This is worth one point. One point. I've got my answer. My answer. 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 Yeah. False. 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 Has to be. Right? Point to everybody. My yeah, actually, yeah. I, I really. I thought I, I got worried about the yeah. and then I remembered it was the Euros. Yeah. That they got. Aye. That was the gimme. The next couple. Oh, that's the gimme. I'm not gimmies. <laughs> you've got to test my knowledge here. We're about to be. Put right. on the fraud watch. Yep. Right. So, how many different nations have won the World Cup? Ooh. No multiple choice, just a number. How many different nations have won the World Cup? I like this question. I feel it's something you either know or don't know. Like everything. I think Aaron's working it out. Oh, uh, if he's got, he knows every year. Someone talked to Aaron getting his Aaron. What did you have I've watched time? every single video at least two or three times. Right. I know he's got knowledge. I've just... We've went different. I've just... Oh, have we? Yeah. Oh, no. I right. went eight, seven. Oh, we've went seven, eight, nine, ten. I went nine, yeah. One point goes to Hege. Oh, no! Oh, oh. Brilliant. Who did that count an extra one for? Well, I went enough. three South American, then I ran out after about four, so I just added one on. I was between I was what, between what, what, are, what are they? Is it those three? Aaron, you're, what, what are they? So you've got Brazil, Argentina, Uruguay, yeah. you've got Spain, Italy, Germany, England, and France. There we go. I think so, I counted yeah. the next I think I counted Mexico or something. I just kept going. Next right. one. Right. Question number three. There's been 69 European Cup slash Champions League finals. How many finals has been without British representation? Right, and this is multiple choice, oh, right? Because that's quite quite a lot. Yeah. Right. So option A is 38, option B is 41, and option C is 44. So 69 European Cup finals. How many finals without any British representation? Surely. I've been a letter. Got an oh. Uh, I, I have gone for 44, so C. 44, C for me as well. Gone for B. And I've gone A. Ooh. 
Oh. Callum and Jacob get the points. Come on. Come on. We needed, that. We needed that back in the race. Thank goodness. I know, Do I couldn't believe it. Of that. Well, now. Quite a lot of the earlier ones didn't have much yeah. British representation. That's right. what I was thinking. I just thought maybe... No, it's crazy from Hegel to even think that. <laughs> right, question number four. So the last three teams currently not in the league, in the Premier League, uh, to win it would be Blackburn in 1995, Leeds in 1992, and this is multiple choice. Who's the third one? Oh, I like this. Right? So it's Ipswich is A, Derby is B, and Burnley is C. Okay. Now... I think I know what I'm going to One of those teams is currently a Premier League. Oh, wait, that's true. But I'm guessing... They've not played in the Premier League. Yeah, yet. they've not. That's fine. I accept right. that. I... Do you know the answer? I think I might. I want to say it's... B. Right, well, give us your answer. Then. I really like the Ipswich shout, though, just because... Oh, look at this guy. guy. I, man. I think if he, does, if he gets it right, he doesn't get the point. Aye. Bob, you put Cam. I've gone for A, Ipswich. A, Ipswich. A. A. No points. Neil Poir. What was it? It's Derby. It's oh, B. 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 Derby won it in 72. Ah, you meant C. Ipswich I went in 62. I knew Burnley won it in 60. Like, bang. <sighs> the old times. Right, final question. Right. Of round one. This is the one where you could get three points. Okay. Oh, this is huge. Okay. Right. So Teddy Sheringham is the oldest Premier League goal scorer. But can you just put in order second to fourth between Thiago Silva, Ryan Giggs, and Dean Windass? So who is second, third, and fourth oldest goal scorers? They have all scored, so it's not a trick question. But you got yours. So last I, time I think I've got mine. Let's see yours. No, I'm not changing. You've got one difference. Oh, oh, oh. Two different. Oh, oh yeah. Right, Cam up your foot. I've gone for Windass as the oldest, Giggs second oldest, and Thiago Silva as the youngest. I've went Giggs oldest, Dean Windass second, and youngest, oh, Thiago Silva. <laughs> I've went Silva, Windass, Giggs. I've went for Giggs, Windass, Thiago Silva. Me and you the same, Aaron. And I've gone, oh. Now, there's somebody who has nailed it with three points. So, that's Callum. Come on! Callum brought her three points in the bag. Woo! Love that, Andy. Love that. That means I've got one. Yeah. How many have I got? So that means that you've you got, got, got none. So Jake, I've got one. Jake and Alan get one. Yeah. Windass, Win Giggs, and Silver. That's huge. That is oh. massive. Close. And he did that. Good questions, though. Very, Very good questions. questions. <laughs> yeah, this is promising good. stuff. You get five. By the way, did you, did you just keep a score tally? We did. I've got it. Yep. We did indeed. Right. It's only the first round, though. Yeah. Still a few to go. Massive thanks to Andy for coming on. It really is much appreciated. And having the hoodie, that's ah, extra points. It really is. Tune I know. Um, so I thought you might have had a question for me. Oh. Like, if I can be the fifth member or something. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we are back for round two in the final event. And we have Danny from America. How are you doing, Danny? Um, well, thank you, guys. I hope you all are. Yeah, very, very yeah. good. And very intrigued to see what kind of questions you've got for us. So, Hopefully Dan... some MLS ones. <laughs> oh. We'll see about that. We'll see about that. So, Danny, take us away with your first question. Did you say you wanted an MLS question, Haggy? No, no, no. no, no, no. <laughs> no? no. If you do, okay. you do. But... All right, we'll... We won't start with that one, then. Um, so Aaron Bent is a name that you guys bring up often on your channel. He's played for eight teams that have played in the Premier League. Ipswich, Sunderland, Tottenham, Aston Villa, Charlton, Derby, Fulham, and Brighton. Of those teams, which has he scored the most goals for? So who was that on? Darren Ben. Darren Ben. Okay. Um. Oh, that's a good question. I like that sort of. Oh, around the block. I just the question. Wrote, I think you might be right. I've wrote different. I don't know. I don't think he was there that long. Oh, I like that. But you're right, Am. I wrote Sunderland. Cal? Oh. I wrote Charlton. Jacob? Sunderland. Said Villa. I don't think he was good. You're all wrong. It was Ipswich. 
Wow. Oh, Ooh. never would have thought. His first that. club, his first club, he's got forty-eight goals for Ipswich. Yeah, he's yeah. moved a lot as he's showed there. He's been around. Yeah, he's been everywhere. The Villa signing was rubbish. He was twenty on yeah. That was a terrible guess. At least we all get it wrong. Next question. Next question, Danny. All righty. As a West Ham fan, I have to ask a West Ham question. I know yeah. you'd still come mess if we are on the channel. <laughs> <laughs> what is what is the capacity at the London Stadium? Is it 57,500, 60,000, 62,500, or 65,000? I don't know. <laughs> you? I am... I'm just saying, I guess. Oh, also, no I... one. Oh, I'm ready. I'm ready. Ah, screw it. I'm going for what I've said. <laughs> I'm going to change it. But oh, I've, right. I've went B60,000. I've went C, 62 and a half. I've went C, 62 and a half. And I've went A, 57 and a half. It is 62 and a half down. Come yeah. on, man. Get excited. Come on. Go get someone on the board. Probably oh, still. <laughs> oh. Take it. Right, I knew it was bigger three. than the Emirates. Aye, the Emirates know. is 60. That's how yeah, I kind I knew, of... I knew that. Reference. Ready for question three? Number yes, three. you are. Let's throw a Euros one in there. Okay. What year was the first Euro Championship held? Was it 52, 56, 60, or 64? I'm pretty sure on this one. I don't like it. It's tough. What have you put, Cal? I went for 1956. Yeah, I've done the same. I went 52. I went 60. Oh, oh, it's going to be 60. Aaron knows this stuff. That is a point for Aaron. Oh, oh man. Man. Well played, Aaron. Yeah, well done. Really happy for you, man. <laughs> <laughs> you sound it, Jacob. All right, question four. I need this. How many goals were scored in the highest Premier League scoring game? Oh, my goodness. I can tell you the two teams if you would like. No, 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 no. What you mean last season? No, just in general. Just in general. Don't no, say anything. Don't give general. Cal many clues. He's a wee weasel. Did you lose eight two once? Yeah. Ah. Is that what you've gone? I've not. I went 11. I don't have a clue what it is. I went 10. I've went 11 and I think it's... When you gone? I went 12. Is that a 7 4 Portsmouth game? It was a Portsmouth 7 red and 4. So oh, 11 ah, points. Yeah. points from India. Do, do I get anything extra? That, uh, no. Extra no, you don't. No, you don't. I, I heard you say Portsmouth, so you started the sentence. I didn't hear the end of it. That, that was all he said <laughs> was. <laughs> it's that because he's in America. And, was that yeah. lag? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. Right, Danny. Right, any question? Final. Let's, Let's go for it. Question five. In what year did the MLS form? Oh, was it 85, 89, 93, or 97? Oh. Yeah, I'm pretty sure because it used to be it used to be the National Division one up to this point. Okay. I, was the same I, I went ninety three. I think it's quite recent. I think it's ninety three. I've went ninety three. I've went ninety three. Ooh. That is all four of you are correct. Oh, oh my shanty oh, Because the first year that came to my head was 94 for the MLS. So I honestly forgot what the other three were and just remembered 93. That's why I got it. I'll take it. There we go. Thank you very much, Danny. On to round number well, three. Welcome. So we're here for round number three with Ewan. How you doing, mate? All right, mate. I'm good, thanks. Good, good. So you know how it works. Five questions to ask the boys. Let's just get straight into it. Number one. Let's go. Oh, here we go. Cool. The highest attendance for a UEFA competition took place at Hampden with attendance of 136,505. Who are the two teams involved? Ooh. Of a UEFA match, did he say, yeah? Of a yeah. UEFA match? That's a good question. I don't know the answer to it. Hampden's in Glasgow, Kill. <laughs> it used to be that size, but it's now 52,000. I've got no clue. No idea. A complete guess. I'm I'm, I take it Anders though. Aaron, I, you know I the, should know it. 
Aaron I should know, I must be saying. Shit. I put Man U and Real Madrid. <laughs> okay. You get a point. I went Madrid and Zagreb. I've went Stoke Bucharest and Real Madrid. <laughs> I've went for my two clubs. Yeah. Leeds United. That's correct. What a sham. No, it's fine, you and I see how it is. I see how it's going. <laughs> I just, thought Aaron had to get that one. I had to get, so just one point for that ticket? Yeah. yeah. Come on. I got the two teams. Half a point. Half a point. <laughs> right, question two, Ewan. Right. Which former German defender did Louis van Gaal say was the best left footy defender in Germany? Oh. I can oh, give you the year if you need. Left footy in Germany? Yeah. yeah, I can give you the year if you want. Uh, no, I don't know. Do we want the year? I want the year. <laughs> was the I've bet. got it. I've got it. I know. He knows. Nah, I'm guessing. I've got guessed as well. I've got no idea. And, and has wrote a right footed player. This is probably right footed <laughs> as well. I've gone for Jerome Boateng. Higgy? I went Beckenbauer. I went Philip Lamb. I no, went for Bad Stuber. That's correct. <laughs> <laughs> I should have known. Oh no! Oh, I should have thought of that. I know. I'm catching a theme here. Oh god, <laughs> unreal. Oh no! I, I I like the theme of the first question. Does that you like bad stuff on No, but he did say before our bad stuff was a allowed, question allowed. I said no, but why have none of us thought that? <laughs> oh. I looked at him and smiled, and he gave nothing away. I instantly just thought this has got to be daily blend, and I was like, he's not even German. <laughs> you in respect. <laughs> Right, question three. Which country scored the second fastest ever World Cup qualifying goal against England? Oh. Second quickest World Cup goal? Qualifying, qualifying goal. Second World Cup. Oh. It was in qualifying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give them nothing else. They don't need it. I don't know why. I'm behind. I need to catch but up. But I feel like it's a small nation. Turkey. Well, England. Wait, I'm going to go for... right, wait. Cam's not right into the turn. I don't know. England. <laughs> like, you started about Ian. I thought it was going England. I mean, that's the whole thing. I have no idea. I've gone Estonia. I've went San Marino. Oh, dude, I've also went that. San Marino. I went Iceland. It's San Marino. Yeah. I thought it. I was like, no, no, there's no way. I remember seeing that recently. Really? I think they put the goal back up. It was on TikTok. It was on TikTok. Yeah, that's what I saw. Love it. Unlucky, Cal. Ah, that's a shame, that one. Oh. Huge. Huge. Next question. Come on. Who is the last team to beat Real Madrid in our European final? Why do they know all this? Why am I struggling? I'm just... Oh. I'm pretty sure I know this. Mm. I'm that confident I've known it. I'll give you extra information. Oh, I don't, I don't know. know. I'm just going for what I've got. Going for that. If, I, if it's the other one, I'm ready. Right, so, Jacob, you've went for? I've went Dundee United. I've went Stowe Bucharest again. I went Stowe Bucharest. I went Aberdeen at 1983, Cup oh. Winners Cup and Gothenburg. Aberdeen. Yeah. Aaron is Aberdeen. flying, by the way. Should have known. Yeah, last team to beat them. That's still a mental start, if you think about it. You get the next video. What question is this? Four or five? That was. This is five. This is five. Let's do it. Right. Come on. Right, this is a career path. Okay, okay. so we've got okay. a career path here. Yeah. See if I heal right. is there. <laughs> 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 right, so he started off at Queen's Park. Okay. Then St Johnston. Then Dunfermline. Then Rangers. Then Falkirk. Then Air United. Oh. Say it again, just for us all. Queen's Park. St yep. Johnston, Dunfermline, Rangers, Falkirk, Air United. All oh, yeah. Hang on. Hmm. And give you a clue if you need. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Dunfermline was before Rangers, correct? Yes. Oh, I've got a guess in. I'm going to say something that's probably wrong. I really can't hang my head's gone. Give us a year. What are you doing? Oh, give us a year. Any Aye. sort of year. It was at one of the clubs. At any Sorry, club. give me a minute and get a year up. Change my answer. <laughs> That's fine. You haven't showed the board, the world. He was at Rangers in 1969-70. Oh, okay. Oh, hang on, hang on. <laughs> hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. 
You actually know this? It's a guess. It's a guess. Yeah, I've changed. I've changed. Yeah. Five seconds. Four. I don't know. I, 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 I do I, not know. I Two. Yes. One. Yes. I went for Sir Alex. I've went for Jim Baxter. It's Sir Alex. Oh, yeah, well done, Jacob. Jacob. Sir oh. Dunfermlin. Yeah. Okay, I would have never got Sir Alex. The other name that was in my head was John Gregg, but... Nah. Good questions, man. Yeah. Horrible Very good questions. questions. I loved it. I loved it. <laughs> <Zero there. laughs> On to round number four. And we are back round number four with yet another Ewan. Clearly something in the water. Clearly, I don't know. Ewan's I don't know. love flat chat. Well, they do say that. They do say that. We are with them. How you doing, Ewan? Uh, not too bad. Thanks, you boys. Ah, I'm doing very good, doing very good. Especially after that last round, I'm feeling better. Feeling better about myself. <laughs> I'm a bit, bit more worried now. Yeah. A bit more worried. I'm certainly not feeling good. It's a marathon. I'm, I'm okay. Yeah. Marathon, not a sprint. He's got his Norwich top on. So he's kind of similar to you. Used to not that success, not that happiness. Well, 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 well. We support <laughs> Chelsea, not Norwich, all right? It's just where I'm from. <laughs> 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 Shall we get straight into it? Question number one. Right, well, as I've got the top on, who is Norwich City's all-time highest transfer sale or outgoing? Sale. Between a couple. Going for this. Yeah, there has been two or three, but apart from that, <laughs> it's been pretty poor. Player. Yeah, he was one of the ones I was thinking of. It's not oh, what I put. Oh, I like that. Yeah. That's a good. That's good. Uh, Cal? I've gone for Max Adams. I've went Wendia. Wendia? I didn't know I went Sutton. It is Emiliano Buendia. Yeah, well played. Ah, I forgot about him. That was good. I was going to go for 38.5 mil to Aston Villa. Yeah. Fair nice. enough. Fair enough. Question two. Right, question two. This one's for you, boys. How many euros has Scotland qualified for? Oh. All time. Euros? Euros. Yeah, euros. Just euros. Have we won the same amount as England? <laughs> yes. Well, uh, I was going to ask how many times you got through to the knockout stages, but that was <laughs> the big <laughs> fat zero. It's not the question you asked. Yeah, uh, yeah. let's go. You ready? Yeah. yeah. I went for four. Oh, no. Four. Four. <laughs> I think I've looked at the wrong thing. Eight. What have you got for four? Go. Um, yeah. Definitely not eight. It's uh, four, yeah. Yeah, yeah okay, boys. I think it's 92, 96. Ah, that is the World Cup. Maybe it's yeah. like Portugal or something. Yeah. Oh. That was bad. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. Number three. Okay. Who is Chelsea's most valuable player according to Transfer Market as of right now? And this oh, is two yes. points. If you get the exact value, it's an extra point. Wow. <laughs> the most valuable. I was going to come to transfer him. Yeah. So it's in. Uh, sorry, I should have said it's in euros. Obviously, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know how to do the euro sign, but it's a we see with a two lines underneath it. Oh, sorry, help me. I've changed my mind. I'm going with this man. I've went with this man. Hey, right. what did you put, Cal? I put Palmer a hundred million euros. I went Enzo in one ten. I went Palmer seventy mil euros. I went Palmer sixty mil. Oh, this is not Enzo. Okay, so the answer was Cole Palmer. Yeah. Yep. And it was eighty million euros. Ooh. Ooh. Fine, you didn't get a bonus. That's... Sorry. I think maybe after Enzo's recent antics, that might have gone down because of that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think, yeah, I think so. <laughs> well, say no um, more than that. Yeah. Anyway. Swiftly moving on, speaking of the best Premier League player, a video recently surfaced of him going viral on TikTok doing a dance with a football boot just above him. What two flags were on that football boot? And what players that, sorry? Cole Palmer, sorry. What two flags? Were I thought you'd know when I said Prem player. But... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I should have known. Oh, I feel like... They both have meaning to him as well. Yeah, yeah. Do they? <laughs> oh, wait, I've I've got a feeling I know like why the two <laughs> <two> flags. <laughs> 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 I 
<laughs> I've gone for England and Nigeria. Yeah, me too. I went England and Trinidad and Tobago. I went England, Northern Ireland. Okay, and there will be no points given out because it was England and St. Kitts and Nevis because that's where oh, I found oh, that. Oh, oh. I feel I've heard that. Yeah, I didn't. It's I one of those ones, isn't it? Chance. Okay. This is the final question. I think so. This is the final question. This is the most tricky. So it's uh, only one of you are going to get a point and it's the closest two. Wow. Oh. Um, so I've added up four players from Transfer Market. I've added up all their values. Closest two gets the point. Yeah, okay. just their transfer value. So no... Okay. Yeah, so... Or their values, sorry. Yeah. Um, player number one, James Tavernier. James Tavernier. Yeah. For the Rangers fan. Number yeah. two, Matt O'Reilly. Number three, um, Jared Bramthwaite. And number four, Martin Odegaard. Lovely. Yeah, I've got my answer. I've wrote four numbers, now I need to do math. Yep, pretty much. <laughs> I've got my number. I am fairly confident that I know two bang on. Well, Wait, yeah, so I asked my brother earlier. Yeah, I don't think he understood transfer value. He, uh, way too high. <laughs> oh, so. you're quite a bit away from me. Okay. What I, have you put, Cal? I've put 164 million. Jacob? 135. 126. 136 and a half. Okay, so I'll go through them. Tavernier, 6.5 mil. Yep, okay. Matt O'Reilly, 20 mil. Yeah, oh, too low. Frankway, 42. I'd say 50. And Martin Odegaard, 110. I think that's me then. So it came at 178.5 mil. Ooh, that's me. That's... Come on, I knew Odegaard was much higher. Um, He's a big boy. I had Odegaard as 65. I had Odegaard as... Nah, 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 nah. 70. I was and surprised I about Odegaard, I can't lie. Guys, one foot. Come on. Thank you very much, Ewan. Cheers, Ewan. On to the final round. Final round. It all comes down to this. Ooh. Who will be lifting the man shaft bottle? <laughs> <laughs> so we have Melissa on the line. How are you doing, Melissa? I'm good. Thank you very much for having me. Yes, with the flat chat hoodie, of course. Oh, it's, it's extra points. Really it's, 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 so let's get straight into it. Question one. Let's have it. Come on. Okay, so I kind of feel like I'm starting off probably not the nicest, but we'll see how you go. Um, name the two big six teams that legendary Man United manager Sir Matt Busby played for. Oh! <laughs> Why do I think this team? I think this. I've got two answers down. I've got two answers down. I've got the same as Jacob. I didn't go Man United, oh. which is maybe bold. Uh, <laughs> there are two teams, to be fair. So okay, yeah. I've gone from Man United and Tottenham Hotspurs. I went, I, I went Man United and Arsenal. I've went Man United and Spurs. I've went Man City and Spurs. I didn't even put Man U. One of you has got one team, and that's it. <laughs> Do we have a point to them? Yeah, so it's you. I think with Arsenal. Is it? No, it's Jacob with City. It was City and Liverpool. Oh! Right, we'll give a point. Point to Jacob. Delightful. No. I'd have given nothing I kind of thought that was controversial, so... That was quite controversial. Yeah. yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. I didn't expect that. <laughs> I didn't expect that. I was like, I'm pretty sure it's what I drove. <laughs> wow. Question two. Question two. I think this is a bit easier. Name the only unbeaten team from the 2010 World Cup. You don't know this, are you really part of a football quiz channel? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Oh. Come on. <laughs> I'm struggling here. He's red at his board. Oh, no, no, you know I'm writing that. You know I'm writing that. <laughs> Don't cheat. He wrote the first two. I know, but I knew he lost his foot solid. Because I was so sure. New Zealand I knew it was that. They drew all their games. Calm yourself. Yeah, New Zealand. Yeah. I was so close. <laughs> I was. I broke S, not Spain. Right oh, no, I was in Switzerland. Really? <laughs> no, I was a hell. <laughs> I was always having a meltdown over there. It was nearly Can't a full-blown meltdown, yeah. I was like, oh, I don't know You were just jumping in. <laughs> that was fun. I enjoyed that. Right, question three. Question three. You all should get this, I think, as well. What Scottish team of 100% record against Barcelona? Yeah. What's funny is... 
We may or may not have spoke about it in between guests, weirdly. Dundee United. <laughs> Dundee United. That, 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 the chances oh of that are so slim. Come Chuck. on. That's what we were talking about. Oh, for God's sake. I was trying to like I was trying to think of something that was nice, but probably not that common. So I was like, fuck. A lot of people got that wrong. To be yeah. fair to Melissa as well. She was putting the spot very oh. short notice. She was last yeah. Yeah. delightful. Let's go. Okay, question four. Where did David Beckham and David Moyes play together? Oh, oh, oh. Beckham and Moyes? You're writing so much more than I think, Jacob. Oh, I'm really worried it's wrong. I don't know. I'll just see what you've wrote. I think you're right. Yeah, I was just writing squiggles. Oh, well, have you wrote, Cal? I put it switched down. Uh, Preston. I went Ipswich Town. I went nothing, I didn't know. Right. Uh, Jacob gets the points, Preston. Preston, well done. Well done. I, guess Super Scotland, yeah. I, like, I think that's right. I kind of thought that was like a, a question where if you play a lot of pub quizzes or football quizzes, you would know. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Nice. Ah, a good question. That's a good question. <laughs> um, <laughs> last question, I've went very easy here, to be fair. So. Three point. Honey. Pretty much. Well, if if you know your Premier League niche knowledge, yes. Oh. Um, which former Southampton player went MIA from a game against Everton to go to the toilet? Oh yes. Yeah. Uh, what was was I didn't hear that. Which Southampton player went missing in action when they were playing Everton to go to the toilet? Oh yeah, yeah, I know this. <laughs> I remember the song. It helps that I was watching the it game. It was so like good. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have no idea. Wait, 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 wait. Is it? I'm just gonna have a guess at something that's so bad. I don't even think it's Blue Boots with that. Is that right? I don't know who you're putting. It was only when, it was only when Melissa said this all. I'm like, I know this now. It's... Yeah, <laughs> that's the thing. Yeah, I went Manny. I went Jason. He went for a. He went for a. Jason Punchin. Oh. <laughs> oh. That was delightful. We don't have any questions. Yeah, good yeah very good. Thank well, you very much. We'll tally up the points. Yeah. We'll be back with the closing ceremony. Well, thank you to everyone that has watched the Flat Chat Olympics. That is Event 5 wrapped up. It's been it's, fun. It has been fun. It is time for the medals for this video. <sighs> In fourth place, receiving no medal. Yeah. Myself. That's good account of yourself. Was, no, no, no. It was a poor performance today. Bad day at the office, pressure got to me. I saw myself at the top and then it all faltered. Mm. In third place, with 12 points today, it's Australia, Callum Porter. Oh, taking a bronze, happy with that? I'll take it. I'll take Second it. Scottish I'll questions I'll in there. It. Hateful, hateful I am. I bet those ones. The silver medal goes to the Republic of Ireland with Aaron with 13 points, which means the winner. And getting his first gold is Jacob Murray from Poland with 15 points. Come on! Yes! <laughs> Jacob. Yes! Love it. <sighs> now we did that. It's the moment we've all been waiting for. Now it's the real Ooh. McCoy. The final medal table. Okay. Would you say it was close? It's so close. There's one medal between first and fourth. One point? One point. Wow. In fourth place, with seven points, representing... Ireland. Oh. It's Aaron Turnbull. It was a very good performance. The first gold medal of the winner as well. Yeah. In third place, they'll need their flag. They will need their they've flag. They've got a bronze medal. They've got a bronze. It's Spain. It's me. Oh. Seven points. Viva España. <laughs> we are all Team Spain, basically. Yeah, obviously, obviously. Picking up silver in the overall table with eight points it's so close the winner has eight as well wow oh, so what, what defines it gold defines. medals oh, which means one. jacob and poland as second take it thank you yeah we're happy well, with jacob. that and the winner receiving the man shaft trophy in the inaugural flat chap olympic games is australia with callum Polka. come on we'll get the, we'll get the trophy Ooh. congratulations sir Oy! Thank you for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and as always, take, take it easy. easy.